Hi and thanks for joining us for our class today. So today we're going to do a full body workout. So we're going to work lots of different areas of the body. So our upper bodies, some core abdominal work and our glutes as well. So we're going to start in standing and warm up and then we're going to walk down onto our mats to carry on the class. So I hope you enjoy the class today. As much as I can, I'm going to show you a few different options as well. So always go to a level that suits you because most importantly, we want you to enjoy the class. Okay, so when you're ready, we'll get started. Okay, so we we'll get started. So we're gonna bring those toes apart and those heels apart. So those feet that hip width distance. Just to start with, we're gonna transfer that weight onto the front of your toes and then back onto your heels. So just gently forwards and back and just look to find that midpoint between those two movements. So that weight's going nice and evenly down through your feet. Knees are soft, so not locked back. Hands up onto your pelvis, very gently. We're gonna tilt the pelvis forwards and then tilting it back. So just gently tilting forwards and then tilting back from there, good. And find that midpoint between those two movements again. So that pelvis in a nice neutral position, that core is gently engaged, collarbones wide, and that neck nice and long and lifted. Fantastic. So elbows into your side, we're gonna start with some chest opening. So breath in, as we breathe out, we're opening out through that chest and folding back. Good, so opening out, squeeze those shoulder blades gently back and folding back in, good. And again, opening out and folding back, good. Squeezing those shoulder blades gently together and then coming back, good. And again, opening out and folding back. So just opening out through that chest and just engaging those shoulder blades, squeezing those shoulder blades gently together and back again, good. And again, opening out and folding back, good. Opening out and fold back, well done. A few more here, opening out through that chest and then folding back, good. Opening out and then folding back, good. Squeeze those shoulder blades gently back, folding back, excellent. And fold back, well done. And let's do one more, opening out, squeezing back and then back in again and relax those arms down, well done. So we're gonna bring our fingertips together and we're just gonna reach our fingers away, drop that chin down to your chest, looking at those hands. And we're gonna lift up together to that shoulder height and then following with that head, opening nice and wide through those hands. So let's clasp those fingers together, reach those fingers away, drop that chin down. Look, lifting up together, following that head with those arms and opening out nice and wide, lovely. And again, reach those fingertips, reach them away, drop that chin down looking up together, following up towards the ceiling and opening wide. Lovely, one last time. Fingertips together, reach those hands again away, drop that chin down, lifting up together and then opening nice and wide and then relaxing those arms, fantastic. Okay, so we're gonna do a little bit of coordination and balance with our toy soldier movement. So we're gonna float our hands up to shoulder height and we're gonna raise our hand and lower back down and then the opposite arm. Make sure you're not letting those ribs flare, keeping that control as you're lifting each arm. Now we're gonna add an opposite heel raise and we're gonna switch. Good, so opposite arm, opposite heel, just moving through that movement. A little bit of coordination as well. Good, lifting each side, good. Walking through, opposite arm, opposite heel raise, good. Still keeping that core engaged and those ribs soft, okay, so not letting them flare as you raise your arm. Good, walking through that movement, a little bit of ankle movement here as well. Good, walking each side, well done. Still breathing in and out, excellent. Moving through that movement, good, we'll just do a few more here, walking through, that sort of toy soldier action, very good. Keep going, side to side, well done, a few more. Walking through, good. And let's do one more each side. And then lower those arms back down, well done. Relaxing those shoulders, okay. So let's bring those toes and those heels wider again. And then just a little bit wider with those toes pointing at that 45 degree angle. So we can go into our side plie. So take a breath in. As we breathe out, dropping down, we're gonna reach one arm over, stretching through here back to that center, reaching the opposite arm over, back to the center, and then lifting back up, very good. And again, dropping down, reaching the arm over, then coming back to the center, 
opposite arm reaching over and back to that center and then raising back up lovely one last time dropping down reaching over back to the center reaching over as you're breathing out and coming back to that center and then folding back up from there very good okay so we're going to do a few roll downs now so bring those feet back to that hip width distance take a breath in as you breathe out, we're going to drop that chin down, rolling slowly, curling down into that C shape, rolling down towards the mat, breath in here. And as you breathe out, gently restacking, slowly back up into standing. Good. And again, breath in. As you breathe out, tuck that chin down, really curling down, rolling down into that C shape. Soften the knees if you need to. Breath in at the end here. And as you breathe out, gently restacking into standing. Now I'm going to come to the end of my mat so you can see me a bit better but also we're going to roll down into a plank in a minute so come to the end of the mat if you're not already there so breath in as you breathe out tuck that chin down rolling those hands slowly down towards the floor breath at the end here then as you breathe out slowly peeling back up into standing good and again breath in as you breathe out, tuck that chin down, curling down, rolling down through that spine, and down towards the mat, breath in. And as you breathe out, gently restacking. Now, this last time, we're going to walk down into our plank position. So breath in. As you breathe out, tucking that chin down, rolling down, coming down towards the mat. And we're going to bring our hands down on the mat here, and we're going to walk out into a plank from here. So just holding this position, breath in and out. Good, now breath in. And we're gonna bring in our knees. So we're gonna bring in our mountain climbs. So we're gonna bring in them here, each side, tapping forwards. Well done. Good, bringing those knees up. Good, well done. Each side, good. Let's do eight more, so eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Back to that plank, breath in here to hold. And as you breathe out, lowering those knees down and drop down into that child pose, just stretching out, breath in and out, sinking down, breath in and out, relaxing down into that stretch, well done, breath in. And out, lengthen through those fingertips, good. And we're going to lift back up from here, and then we're going to come down onto our fronts and continue our class here. Okay, so come down onto our fronts to continue here. So if you've got a little pillow or a towel you can use just under your forehead for comfort, just pop it there now. You don't have to, though, if you haven't got anything. So just placing that onto my forehead. I'm just going to reach my arms above my head from here, just slightly wider than my shoulders, just slightly. Still keep my core engaged, so that belly button just drawn up towards my spine and that tailbone just gently tucked under there. Good, okay, so from here we're going to do our swimming movement. So to begin with, we're just going to raise one arm and then lower back down. Opposite arm lifted and then lower down. Now this is a really great movement to work those shoulder blade muscles. So we're lifting and lowering. So my thumb's pointing up to the ceiling, lifting and lowering. So a good exercise for posture. Good, now lifting and lowering. Now my head's staying relaxed, head's staying down on that block here. Good, lifting and lowering. Now it's not a big lift, you can see I can't lift my arm that high, otherwise I'm gonna lose that control to my body. Now keeping that core engaged, if you want to, we can add that opposite leg lift and lower back down. Opposite arm, opposite leg, and lower down. So again, it's not a huge lift, because I've gotta still keep that control through my centre. Now that bottom's working to lift my leg. Make sure it's your bottom and not your back, your feet. So again, keep that core engaged and really squeeze that bottom if you need to, to lift that leg. Lift up and lower, good. My head's just staying relaxed onto that block. Good, and lowering. Lift and lower from here, very good. Good, so nice and controlled, lengthening through the body. Just working that body as a whole, well done. Lengthening and lowering. 
Breathing out as you're lifting, breathing in as you're lowering down if you can, but just make sure you're not holding your breath. Breathing out as you lift, breathe in as you lower. Very good. Lifting and lowering, lengthening through that body. Well done. Just keeping that head drop down onto that block and lifting through. Well done. Last few. Keeping that control. Well done. Lifting and lowering. Well done. That bottom's working to extend that leg, but keep that core engaged. Keep that neutral position. Well done. Lifting and lowering. Let's do one more each side. And then lowering back down. Well done. So bring those arms down. So in that kind of L shape at the, around your body. Good. So that kind of right angle position. Now we're going to work our upper bodies here with a swan dive movement. So really importantly to keep your chin tucked in with this exercise. So my forehead's just resting on the ground here. So what I want to do is raise up my head and my neck and that breastbone just off the mat here, but my eyes are staying looking down at that mat. And I imagine you've got a little peach underneath that chin. We don't want to let it drop out. So I'm keeping that neck long, keeping that peach tucked under my chin and then lowering down. And what I mean by that is if I lost my peach, I'd end up doing this and poking my head forward. So I want to keep that tucked in and keeping my neck long. Good, so breath in. As you breathe out, lifting up, just keeping that length through that neck and then lowering down. So I'm just lifting my forehead, my breastbone, and you feel that into that upper back and lowering down, good. And again, lifting up and then lowering down. Now, if that's comfortable here, we can challenge it a little bit more. Lifting up, at the same time, lift my arms and then lower down together. Good. So we're lifting as one with those arms if you can and then lowering back down. Still keep that core engaged, really supporting that lower back and then lower down. Good, so to keep your peach tucked in, make sure that neck is long. Your eyes are looking straight down onto that mat. If they're looking in front of you, you've definitely lost your peach, <laughs> okay? So lift up, lengthen through and then lowering back down. Good, and again, lifting up and lowering down. Good, and lift up and lower. Very good. Breathing in, breathe out as you lift up. Breathing in as you lower, very good. Last few, just really working the upper back, keeping that neck long, that chin tucked in. And lowering down, well done. And again, and last time, lifting up and then lowering back down. Very good, well done. Okay, so we're gonna stay in this position, arms in this L-shaped position. Bring those feet just slightly wider than those hips and we're gonna go into our cobra stretch. So again, keep keeping that chin tucked in. Take a breath in. As you breathe out, we're gonna lift up the forehead, raise that breastbone, peeling those ribs and that tummy and we're just peeling off the mat into this extended position. Breath in. And as you breathe out, we're slowly peeling back down, nice and gently, down onto the mat. Good, and again, breath in. As you breathe out, tucking that chin under, peeling off, slowly walking that body off the mat, coming into that extended position. Breath in here, well done. And as you breathe out, slowly peeling down those ribs, then that breastbone, and then slowly that forehead onto the mat. Good, and again, breath in. As you breathe out, tucking under, and just lift up. If you're really stiff here, just go to where you're comfortable. Just go to where that extended position finishes for you. Breath in. And as you breathe out, walking that tummy down, then those ribs down, and breastbone, and then finally that forehead. Lovely, let's do one last time, breath in. As you breathe out, tucking under, keeping that chin tucked in as you lift up, breath in. And then as you breathe out, well done, just walking slowly back down onto the mat and down with that head as well. Fantastic, good. Okay, so let's just come up from here. 
and we're going to drop down and just stretch out into that child pose just have a nice little stretch in that opposite position so just breathe in and out here as you breathe out just sink down that little bit further if you can just dropping that bottom down onto your heels good breath in and out sinking down well done and again breath in and as you breathe out relaxing down well done coming back up okay so we'll just pop that block to the side we've been using it and we're going to come round onto our sides and we're going to work to start with our side bend so we're not completely down on our sides so just have your elbow underneath that shoulder my knees are just slightly in front of me here and we're going to work our obliques a little bit with this side bend movement okay so from here we're going to lift up through that side and then lower back down good now if we can we're going to add that arm lift so lift up and lower good and again lifting up and lowering down good lift up through and lower good reaching and lowering back down good and again lifting up and down and again lift up and lower down so just kicking in these obliques lifting up through that side and lowering down well done you feel that arm working as well it's really stabilizing you here make sure that elbows underneath that shoulder good and lowering down last view good lifting up and one more time well done lift up and then lowering back down well done okay so if you've got a thicker block or a pillow you're using just grab that again and we're going to drop down now onto our sides from here so we're going to do our clam movement so bend those knees up so those feet and hips are roughly in that line okay those hips really stacked on top of each other and that core just gently lifted here so we're going to keep the feet together and we're going to lift up that top knee and lower back down really keep those hips stacked on top of each other don't let them roll back so they often want to roll back a bit to cheat so try and keep them stacked here imagine you're against a wall and you don't want to roll back keeping them stacked and we want to feel it in this back pocket side area if you don't you might want to just straighten or bend your knees up a bit more so sometimes just adjusting that position you can really feel that kick in the right place so keeping those feet together we're lifting and lowering through this top knee here good still keeping that core engaged lifting and lowering well done so lift up and lower keeping that core engaged lifting and lowering well done just breathing in and out here well done not holding your breath now if you can on this next one we can raise those feet up to hip height and we're lifting and lowering if that feels too much just keep those feet down but we're lifting just gives you a little bit of a bigger range in this next level as we lift and lower still keeping my hips stacked as we lift and lower through that top knee well done good heels together and then one more and we're going to lower those knees down lower those feet down if you can we'll do last few lifting and lowering through that top knee again well done lifting and lowering very good keeping that control that core engaged hips staying stacked good and one more and relax that leg down well done give that muscle a little rub okay so let's just drop that block down onto the floor so your head's at the front of it arms out in front we're just going to do a few arm opening stretch from here so lift up that top arm opening out that chest coming round and back looking with your head and then slowly coming back again good and again lift up that top arm opening out through that chest looking round and back and then back to that center well done and again lift up opening out coming round and back and back to that start good so i'm just following that arm with that head rolling on that block looking round and back and then back to that start and again lift up opening out round and back and then back to that center good so remember don't pull through your shoulder too much just bend that elbow slightly if you need to and we're just opening out through that chest coming around and back good and again lifting up opening out round and back and then back to that center last few here and back to that center 
Good, one last time. Lifting up through that arm, rolling with that head. And then back to that start. Very good, okay. So we're gonna come back up, round onto the other side. We bring our blocks, we'll use that in a second. And we'll do our side bend first again. So we're gonna come round, elbow underneath that shoulder. Those are knees just in front of my hips here. Core engaged, okay? And then we're gonna lift up that side into that side bend. So really kicking in our obliques. If you can, we're gonna lift up that arm and then folding down, good. So we're reaching up and folding down. So working through that arm that's stabilizing you, but really we're kicking in those obliques with this side lift here, good. So lifting up, lowering down. Very good. Breathing out as you're lifting up, breathing in as you're folding down, well done. And folding down, good. A few more here. Very good. Lifting up, kick those obliques in, well done. Last couple. And let's do one last one. And then lowering back down, well done. So grab that thicker block and we're gonna drop down onto our sides here and work our clam as we did the other side. So knees bent up, feet and hips roughly in that line. So remember those hips are really stacked on top of each other. Feet together, we're gonna lift up that top knee and lower back down. So imagine you're against that wall. Remember, you don't let those hips roll back. And we're feeling it in this back pocket side area. If you don't, remember you can just bend or straighten your knees a bit just to make sure you're kicking in that right muscle. Good. So you wanna feel it in that side back pocket area here. So lifting up and lowering down, well done. You're sometimes having your hand on your hips here just to make sure you're feeling that they're not rolling back can sometimes be helpful. So keeping that core engaged as we're lifting and lowering through that top knee, well done. Lifting and lowering. Very good, still breathing in and out. Just working through those bottom muscles here. Good, lift up and lower. Lifting and lowering. Still keeping those hips stacked as we lift and lower through that leg. Well done. So either staying here at this level, that's comfortable, or we can raise those feet up to hip height and we're gonna lift and lower through that top knee again from here, good. So keeping those hips stacked still as we're lifting and lowering through that top knee. Well done. Again, lifting and lowering. Well done. Lift up and lower. Good. And lowering. Very good. And let's do one more if those feet are raised. And then we're gonna lower those feet back down. If you can, we're gonna lift and lower just the last few with those feet down. Well done. Good. And again, lift up and lower. Very good. And again, a few more, keeping those hips stacked still, very good. And let's do one last one. Ooh, and lower that leg down, and give that muscle a little rub, bend those knees up, very good, well done. So just keep those knees bent and resting that leg. We're gonna drop our block down onto the floor here, arms out in front, and we're gonna lift up this top arm, opening out around and back, looking that head just rolling on that block coming back good and again lifting up opening out round and back and then back again very good and again lifting up opening out and then coming round and back and again lift up opening out round and back and then back to that center and again lifting up opening out looking round and back and then back to that center good and then coming round and back. Last few. Just opening up through that chest. Don't pull through your shoulder. Remember, just bend that elbow if you need to. And then back. Let's do one last time. Lifting up, opening, round and back. And back to that center, well done. Okay, so drop that block down. We're gonna come round onto our backs from here. Okay, so down on your back, have your feet and knees that hip width distance apart. Just to begin with, we just find that neutral position. So just tilt that pelvis forwards and back 
and just looking to find that midpoint between those two movements. So that pelvis in that nice neutral position. Well done. That core is gently engaged, ribs soft, collarbones wide, and that neck nice and long. Well done. So arms relaxed down by your side. We're going to get start with our bridge here. So take a breath in. As you breathe out, tucking that pelvis under, use those bottom muscles, lifting up into this bridge, breath in here. Then as you breathe out, walking that spine slowly back down onto the mat. Good, and again, breath in. As you breathe out, tucking that pelvis under, lifting up into that bridge, breath in here. Then as you breathe out, walking that spine slowly back down onto the mat. Good, and again, breath in. As you breathe out, tucking that pelvis under, use those bottom muscles, lifting up into that bridge. Breath in here, and as you breathe out, walk that spine slowly back down onto the mat. Good, and again, breath in. As you breathe out, tucking that pelvis under, lifting up. Breath in here, and as you breathe out, walk that spine slowly back down onto the mat. And again, breath in. As you breathe out, tucking that pelvis under, lifting up into that bridge. Breath in here. And as you breathe out, slowly walking down onto the mat. Well done, and again, breath in. As you breathe out, tucking that pelvis under, lifting up into that bridge, breath in here. And then as you breathe out, walking down, good. Now on this next few, we're gonna add in our arms. So breath in, as you breathe out, lifting up, up into that bridge. Then we're gonna float our hands up towards the ceiling, breath in here. And as you breathe out, keep those hands there and walk that spine back down and then float the hands down to join. Good, and again, breath in. As you breathe out, tucking that pelvis under, lifting up into that bridge. Using those boss muscles, float the hands up to the ceiling, shoulder blades down, breath in here. And as you breathe out, walk that spine slowly back down onto the mat, and then float the hands back down to join. Good, and again, breath in. As you breathe out, tucking that pelvis under, use those boss muscles, lifting up into that bridge. Float the hands up to the ceiling, shoulder blades down, breath in. And as you breathe out, walk that spine gently back down onto the mat and float the hands down to join. And again, breath in. As you breathe out, tucking that pelvis under, lifting up into that bridge, float the hands up to the ceiling, shoulder blades down, breath in here. And as you breathe out, walking that spine slowly back down and float them down onto the mat. Good, and again, breath in. As you breathe out, tucking that pelvis under, lifting up into that bridge, float the hands up to the ceiling, shoulder blades down, breath in. And as you breathe out, walking that spine back down and float the hands down to join. Fantastic, one last time, breath in. As you breathe out, tucking that pelvis under, lifting up into that bridge, float the hands up to the ceiling, shoulder blades down, breath in. And as you breathe out, walk that spine gently back down onto the mat and float the hands down to join. Fantastic, well done. Okay, so we're gonna work our core and our lower abdominals a little bit with our scissors movement now. So let's just begin by building in through those options, whatever you're comfortable with. So we're gonna start by lifting one leg up into single tabletop. Keep this core engaged. We're gonna tap that foot down, back up and lower. Opposite leg, lift up, tap down, back up and lower. Now with this exercise, really make sure your knee is staying in the same position because we're lowering that leg through those hips. So we're tapping down, back up and lower. So that movement's coming through from my, my pelvis. My hips is what moving that leg down and back up, good. Now if that's comfortable, keeping that core engaged, that tummy flat, we can lift both legs up into double tabletop and then we're tapping and lifting up, tapping and lifting up. So we're alternating sides. Breathe out as you lower the leg, breathe in as you fold back up. Breathing in to fold back up. Good, so just tapping, alternating sides, nice and control. My knee's still staying in this right angle position. So you often wanna cheat a little bit and do this, okay? So just watch that you're not doing that, that knee staying at that 90 degree angle. Tapping down, lifting up, keeping that core engaged, that tummy flat, I'm not letting my back arch, keeping that nice and flat, good. Tapping down each side, very good. But start to feel your tummy doming or that back arching. Just come down a level, come back to that single leg and then you can always come back up again. But reset if you're feeling that happening. You're just losing that control there a little bit. Good. Now if you want to challenge it a little bit more, we can just go a little bit faster. So we breathe in 
and out. So breathing in for two and out for two. Good, so tapping, 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 just alternating sides, just increasing that speed, but still keeping my tummy flat and that core engaged. So tapping, 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 well done. So pick what's comfortable, we've got that single leg, both legs lifted, or this little bit faster movement. Still breathing in and out, whatever level you're working on. And remember you can mix and match through those levels as well. So we're gonna do a few more here, Tapping, tapping if you can, well done. Breathing in and out. Good, keep going if you can. Tapping, tapping, well done. Really working on that control here. It's hard to do. Well done. Keep going, last few. Well done, tapping if you can. Breathing in and out. Breathing in and out good keep going breath in and out well done breath in and out good one more breath in and out and then back to that center well done lower those legs down let's bring those legs in have a little hug and stretch out very good well done breath in and out, sink down that stretch a little bit further. So bring those knees into your chest, just gently sinking down if you can. Good, breath in. As you breathe out, just relax down into that stretch a little bit. Just enjoy opening out through that spine. Good, breath in and out. And just relaxing down from there, well done. And again, breath in and out. Relaxing down, very good. So just lowering those legs down one at a time, coming back to that start position. Okay, so we're gonna work our abdominals a little bit here. So I'm gonna show you a couple of different options. So really go to whatever level is comfortable with. So I'm gonna put my hands behind my head just to support my neck here. So either just staying in this position with those knees that hit with distance. And um, just to begin with, breath in. As we breathe out, we're just lifting up into that little bit of abdo prep, just kicking those abdominals in here and then lowering back down. And again, just lifting and then lowering. Good, so we're just kicking in those abdominals. If that's comfortable, we can lift both legs up into double tabletop, feet to knees together, and we're lifting and lowering. So maintaining that tabletop position as we're lifting and lowering. Good, so just really kicking in those abdominals. If you want an extra challenge, we lift and at the same time extend our legs, fold back together and folding back. Breathing out as you're extending, breathing as you're folding back. So quite challenging there. If you want to add that movement in, you can, but just go to where you're comfortable. If that feels too much, just keep those legs in that tabletop or keep those feet down. Good. So we're still kicking in those abdominals by lifting into this abdo prep position and lowering. Good. Breathing out. Breathing as you fold back. Very good. And lowering, excellent. Keeping that control. Extending those legs if you can. Remember those options. We can always mix and match, try a few. Come back to that lower level if you need to. Good. Last few. Working hard here, well done. Good. Let's do one last one. And lower that head down, bring those knees in. Those legs are lifted, very good. Let's have a quick stretch. Ooh, well done. So lower those legs back down. We're gonna have our arms out to the side of us and we're gonna do our rotation stretch. So arms out just the way you're comfortable. And we're gonna drop those knees over to one side. Turn your head to the opposite side if you can. And then use those toe muscles to bring those knees back to that center. And then over to that opposite side, turning that head, well done and then slowly coming back up and dropping those knees over, turning that head and then coming back up and over to that opposite side. Well done. So just rotating side to side from here, dropping those knees over, coming back up and over to the opposite side. Well done. 
rotating side to side from here. Just enjoying that stretch, opening out through that spine, looking that opposite way, just that nice rotation movement. Very good, well done, a few more here. And coming back up and over to that opposite side. Good. Let's just do one more each side, dropping those knees over and coming back up and over to that opposite side. Good, and then back to that center. Well done, arms relaxed down by your side, very good. Okay, so let's just stretch out through our legs now. So let's put one foot onto the opposite knee. Allow that leg just to relax open there. If that's enough of a stretch, then just stay there. Or if you can, we're gonna bring the other leg up and towards you just as far as you feel comfortable. And we're gonna hold this stretch here. So we're just breathing it out. On that out breath, if you can, just sink down into that stretch, just that little bit further if you can. And we're holding that there. So breath in and out. Relaxing down into that stretch, just that little bit further. Well done, breath in. And as you breathe out, just sink down that little bit further. Well done. Relaxing down, no tension in that upper body. Just sinking down on that out breath if you can, that little bit further. Well done. And one more breath in and out. And then relax that leg down. And then opposite leg, so opposite foot onto the other knee. Allow that leg just to relax open there. If that's enough of a stretch, then just stay there. But if you can, we're going to bring the other leg up in towards you just as far as you feel comfortable. And we're holding this stretch here. So just breathing in and out. On that out breath, if you can, just relax down into that stretch just a little bit further. And just sinking down into that stretch. Well done. Breath in. As you breathe out, relaxing down. No tension in that upper body. Just sinking down that little bit further. Breath in. And as you breathe out, relaxing down into that stretch, well done. Breath in. And as you breathe out, just relaxing down just a little bit further, as much as you're comfortable, well done. And then just lowering that leg back down. Okay, so we're gonna stretch through the backs of our legs now. So knee up to the ceiling, lengthen through the back of the leg, toes pointing up to the ceiling. You can use your hand just to support that leg there. And we're just gonna hold this stretch. So just breathing in and out again. No tension to that upper body, just relaxing down into that stretch. Don't overstretch it, just go to where you're comfortable, just feeling that lengthening and that stretch through the back of the leg. We'll change the stretch slightly, just pointing and flexing through the foot. Just gently pointing and flexing. Very good. Pointing and flexing, just with that little bit of ankle movement. Well done. And then pointing those toes up to the ceiling again, lengthening through. Good. And then lowering that leg down. Excellent, last time, no knee up to the ceiling, lengthen through the back of the leg. Use your hand to support that leg there if you can. Lengthening through the back, well done. Breathing in and out. Just supporting that leg there. Breath in and out, well done. And if you can, we'll change the stretch slightly, just pointing and flexing through that ankle. Very good. Pointing and flexing. Well done. Very good. And then toes pointing up to the ceiling again, holding that stretch, just lengthening through the back of the leg there, well done. Still breathing in and out, just relaxing to that stretch. No tension through that upper body, well done. And then lowering that leg back down. And we're just gonna come around, back up into sitting. So just however you're comfortable. So either sitting, legs cross or legs out in front, just roll those shoulders, let upper pressure catch up. Sitting back up again, well done. And just relaxing those shoulders there. Very good, okay. So we're just gonna finish with a few stretches. So I'm just gonna rest one hand down by your side. I'm gonna reach the opposite arm up and over into this mermaid stretch. Breath in here. And as you breathe out, lifting up and over. Good, and again, dropping over, reaching, lengthen through that side, breath in. And as you breathe out, lift back up and over. Good, and again, each side, drop that arm down, reaching over, breath in. And as you breathe out, lifting back up and over. Good, and again, reaching over. And then back up, 
into that center well done relax those shoulders good now we're going to bring our hands together clasp those fingers and i want you to reach those fingers away drop that chin down to your chest then we're going to look up to those hands and together reach up and open nice and wide good so clasp those hands together reach them away drop that chin down look to the hands and lift up together and then opening out nice and wide lovely one last time fingers together reach away drop that chin down look up to those hands and together lift up and open nice and wide and then just relax those shoulders fantastic well done well i hope you've enjoyed the class today well done and hopefully we'll see you again next time